Adam, you've actually commented on this, I think, on your TikTok and Twitter. Mm. Uh, Logan Paul is dating a woman named Nina Agdal. And Logan Paul has an upcoming fight with uh, Dylan Dennis. Mm -hmm. And Dylan Dennis has kind of ruthless, ruthlessly uh, on Twitter been essentially just posting photos of Logan Paul's fiance uh, with, with other men. Mm -hmm. Or in some of them seem rather platonic, some of them seem, you know, romantic. Romantic. Nature, yeah. um, and then there's some videos too of her saying some, I suppose, sexual sexual things um let's just really quick just to give people context nick can you pull up uh can you pull up just the instagrams really quick starting with logan i'm sure most people know logan logan paul he's uh hot as fuck. <laughs> disavow um can you pull it up he's super hot the wikipedias wikipedias Shout he out to says logan. we're living in the matrix uh and so we, we are, have so. uh there's that Logan Paul is saying we live in the yeah. Matrix. Yeah. You're thinking of I think you're, you're thinking of Andrew Tate. Okay, <laughs> no, we have uh, I, no, because he's not blonde. He may have said it as well. Okay, yeah, no, uh, so Logan know. Paul, famous influencer, et cetera, et cetera. He's 28. Next, uh, Nina Agdal, uh, 31. So she is what three years his uh, senior, and she's like a model. And then Dil Dylan Dennis, no photo of him there, but. Uh, He's a uh, like jujitsu guy. They have a boxing match coming up here very soon in the UK. Can you pull up his uh, Twitter? We're gonna just react to a couple of uh, of his. Is I hope it. It might be. I don't know if he's got any. Let's scroll down. There's just so scroll many. Down. It's a oh lot. Oh my so god! Just scroll it's been down. Like By the way, he hundreds. was the first person to DM me when that that video with Jason came out. Yeah. He was the first one in my DM. And he Hold tried on, to we'll, use we'll the come like, back to it really we're quick. both Armenian thing as a way to get some. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. Wait, he DM'd you. Me? Yeah. To just Dylan. to say hi or well to point out that they're both Armenian, I guess. Yeah, but you, you know, and him like are the, both Ar Armenian? Yeah, but oh. it's like that was his entryway to try to talk to me. He unsent it after we started talking shit, but yeah. Are you gonna have he wanted to try to get on the pod or Oh that's a good idea. I haven't I've never tried to get him on the pod, but I, I for okay. sure would, yeah. Okay. So he just DM'd you to, like to say There's what guys up, will or? DM all sorts of weird things to try to shoot their shot. Oh he's I believe that was the entryway to shooting his shot. Yeah. But I mean, he knows. I assume he knows that you're married, so. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't care. Oh, these jujitsu guys, they don't <laughs> care, right? Okay. I don't know. All right. Um, let's pull it back up. Uh, scroll down. Just keep scrolling. Uh, let's see. This is from all the craziest today. Keep scrolling. Today. Keep scrolling That's a photo I've already posted today, but. Uh, so he's posting a bunch of photos. That's Kale Sonnen. Nina Agdal, which is Logan's fiance, keep scrolling down. Some of these are clearly photoshopped. Some of yeah. these are photoshopped. Like I that one. I think that one's say this fake. There's a community note on it. Uh, Nina Agdal. Sh the, oh wait, stop it. <laughs> <There's one. laughs> oh no. Wait, I gotta be careful a little bit with. I guess that's Nina with uh, one of her exes. Scroll down. Keep scrolling down. And these are just. He's blasting yeah, them. Yeah, be careful on here. Okay. Yeah. Some of these might be a little. Uh, I don't know if he's I'm a, full I'm a, X-rated on here. I don't think so. Not In any case, uh, play that video. Play the video right there. Oh, what is she saying? You want me to on it? Yeah, you got to. Reasons. Like, if you're just like, I don't want to fuck you anymore, say that. In don't any, come up with bull hot reasons. Positive. Like, if you're just like. In any case, he's posting a lot of photos with Nina, with other men. There's a couple videos of her where she's, you know, like that one making some sexual comments. There was one where she mentioned that she was at a stadium and gave a guy a blowy at a stadium or something. I don't know. Basically just posting photos of uh, her with some dudes and some kind of perhaps as viewed by some people unflattering statements she made. Um, so Adam, you actually, we have a video from Adam here. Mm. Full screen? Yeah, full screen. All right, so Logan Paul has an upcoming boxing match against this Dylan Danis guy. And Dylan's been going on a little bit of a campaign trying to embarrass Logan by pointing out all the guys that his now fiance has spent time with before Logan. Uh, this is Ja Rule. Dylan, I don't know how hip hop fluent you are, but this is one of the goats. What's love got to do with it, huh? I'm not always there when you call, but I'm always on time. Uh, Dylan, this is one of the goats. 
If his girl has actually spent time in the presence of Ja Rule, then he should be proud of it. Video Personally, tab, man. I think video the more tab. men that your woman has spent time with before you get her, the more desirable she becomes. How about that, Dylan? Also, why was Dylan Danis like the first guy in my girl's DMs as soon as she started to go viral with the Jason Love thing? Uh, I guess he says he's Armenian or whatever, but uh, you're a perv, so let's just throw that out there. Can I, uh, can I just say something? Wait, wasn't Ja Rule the one that also went with the fire festival thing? Yes. Yeah. So, Thank you for mentioning okay. that. Yeah, that's very totally confusing related. to me. <laughs> totally it was important to mention that. For it sure. was, it's relevant. Yeah. It's relevant. Um, I don't really trust Ja Rule. I'm not going to lie. So obviously, you're kind of joking a little bit. You're hamming it up. but No, but I do like... When a woman has some miles on her, you know, I that doesn't think, bother like, me one bit. What every photo she's ever taken with another dude means that she's like not worthy of of a marriage anymore. Like maybe some of those are relationships, maybe some of them weren't, but like who f cares? She's 31 years old. Of course she's going to have experiences with other men. I kind of doubt that she Logan. banged Ja Rule. Also, right? Logan is a bunch of my friends. No one's talking about that. Like, I mean, I, oh. I get that it doesn't matter oh. when men do it, but like, you know, it's like. Everyone no, knows yeah. that I, he's had a bunch of relationships. She's witnessed it. She's seen him with her friends, right? I mean, I think, oh, Lena, you're on to something. Lena, you're on to something in that, you know, I, I saw, I heard about that whole kind of kerfuffle happening on Twitter between the two. And I do think that it is um, inconsistent for a man to demand sexual purity from a woman and not demand it from himself. And I think that we're seeing that a little bit because it's like, okay, this woman supposedly has slept with other men. I mean, there's no like, I don't know about proof of that, but they're saying that she has. But it's not like Dylan is saying, hey, I want to stand for, mm -hmm. you know, self-control and I'm going to be a man. It, instead, of, they're claiming that part of being a man is being promiscuous. That's typically the, the thought process. And I think that's totally untrue. I mean, I think part of being a man and part of being a virtuous woman is total self-control and directing your energy towards good things and choosing good things. And in a relationship that is includes choosing fidelity and choosing honor and choosing commitment. So I kind of agree with your take in that I think it's inconsistent of him to be doing that when he I himself just isn't trying like, to live that way. At least that he hasn't said that or he isn't You need to kind of way. date people to figure out like what you are into and what you're willing to put up with and not put up with. I know you said love is a choice. So in mm -hmm. your position, there could be an arranged marriage at 13 and those people just need it wouldn't to be a choice, then, out but to, it wouldn't be a choice if it was arranged. But if they, the, if they committed to get married to each other and they do get married, then they have to still choose to love each other. If right? they fully choose it, I don't think they could choose at 13 or 15. I okay. So let's say young. it was 18 and they just, they're like, let's get hitched because we want to yeah, well, I don't what know happens about then? if you get hitched just to have sex, I think that's going to be a problem for you. You should get married to, yes, you want to be intimate with the person. You want to give your body to them and receive their body. But it has to be more than just physicality. It's about your spirituality. It's about your lifelong plan of what we're going to do together. We're going to create something beautiful together, a family. So marriage isn't just about sex. Sex is super important, but it's not just yeah. about sex. For example, like if one of you had an injury, right, and you, God forbid, couldn't have sex, would that make you, the other person, love the other person less? No. No. Would you still stay together? Yeah. What kind of injury? <laughs> <laughs> an, injury that, an injury that prevented, at least for an, an indefinite amount of time, you being able to be sexually intimate. I, here's, the, here's the scenario. I'll give you at least six months. Here's the, here's the oh. scenario. But after six months, you, you'd cut her off? I am out of here. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to hold you down. I have here. a flashlight. I, I have a scenario for you, Adam. But that's beautiful. You mean you'd stay together regardless of like your physical problems. You, you oh, would yeah. be committed to each other. I think you'd leave me if I got fat. Hell no. We got a baby <laughs> together. I'm, I'm sticking around no matter what. Credit to uh, Patrice and Neil on this. Let's say uh, Lena is on a train and there's a terrible train accident and she lo loses the pussy in the train accident. <laughs> um, you know, She's catastrophic money, train so. accident. Right. I mean, luckily for her, she's got a mouth, she's got an asshole, <laughs> and you. she's got these great armpits that what? realistically <laughs> they secrete a lot of uh, fluid I'm throughout the day. Right now. I know, I just, I just found that out <laughs> the hard way. But um, no, yeah, for sure. Like, especially, you know, what? when she had a, a baby. And, you know, I'm watching the fucking doctor slice her stomach open and pull the baby out like the Lion King. And I'm just witnessing that and just realizing, like, oh, I am sticking around. Like, it does not matter that they're ripping her apart. I could see her intestines. They're pulling the child out of her. I'm on board. 